Dre, do you consider yourself to be a good person? Absolutely. Gio, do you consider yourself to be a good person? Yes. What's your name, my friend? I'm a good, my name? Yeah. Vinny. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use what God gave Moses. What we're gonna do, Okay. we're gonna go through the Ten Commandments, just a couple of them. Okay. That's what Noah or Moses was given, right? Right. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? Yeah. The Ten Commandments. All right? He gave him the Ten Commandments. So we're going to look at three of them, not all ten. I'll go through them with you. And I would ask that all you guys just go through them with us for his moral support. Sound good? All right, we're going to use just a couple of them to see how good you are, okay? Are you ready? No. <laughs> All right, do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? I think I kept the major ones for sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, I haven't killed anybody, so. Okay, all right. Good. I mean. And embrace yourself. You ready? I'll go through it with you, okay? I'll answer the same questions honestly. I just ask you to be honest, okay? Oh, definitely, okay. Dre, how many lies have you told in your life? A lot. Countless. Countless. A thousand and one. A thousand and one. Okay, and I've told lies. What do they call people who tell lies? Sinners? Okay, what do they call people who tell a thousand and one lies? Liars. A liar. I don't... Well, if I were to lie to you, what would you call me? A liar. There you go. Dre, have you ever stolen anything? Regardless of the value. Now, I have. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and so have I. Okay. What do they call people who steal things? Thieves. Thieves. Okay, what do they call people who steal things? Thieves. Thieves, yeah. right? Anybody steal before? I have. So what does that make you? A thief. No, it doesn't. It makes you a lying thief. Right, right? All right. This is what got me. The other two got me, but this one really got me. Jesus said, you have heard of old, you should not commit adultery. Get married and cheat on your spouse, right? Right. That's not good. He said, but if you look upon a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yeah. I have too. Now I've looked with lust. Have you ever looked with lust, Vinny? I have. Yes. Now I've looked with lust. Have you ever looked with lust? Yes. So Dre, I'm not judging you, but by your own admission, you said you're a good person, but by your own admission, you're a lying thief and an adulterer at heart, and you got to stand before a holy God on Judgment Day. That's intense, isn't it? Oh! That's intense, isn't that's it? That's good. That's okay. I'm not judging you. But I'm a bad person. But you just said you're a good person. Yeah. But by your own admission, you're a lying thief and an adulterer at heart. Yeah. And you got to stand before a holy God on Judgment Day. Yeah. But by your own admission, uh -huh. I'm not judging. You're a lying thief and an adulterer at heart. And you got to stand before a holy God on Judgment Day. Would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Oh, I'm guilty. Guilty? Heaven or hell? Uh, whatever they choose. Would that be heaven or hell? If I repented, hopefully heaven. But, yeah. Just based on that, would it, you're guilty, heaven or hell? Hell. Hell. Heaven or hell? Heaven. Why? Because I think overall, I'm a, I'm actually I am a good person. Overall, but according to that standard, we're guilty. And if, if you try that in court and guilty of crimes, and you say, Judge, I've stolen 20 cars, but I've taken a lot of groceries for old ladies, you know, I, I'm not, are you going to let me go? It doesn't work like that, does it? Uh, that's the, the, huh? That's how many groceries? How many groceries? The point is that you, we have to pay a fine for the crimes that we commit. Sure. If you break the speeding fine, it doesn't matter how many groceries, you still got to pay the speeding yeah, yeah, fine, right? Yeah. So the reality is, and that's tough for us to say, we'd be guilty, and the consequence of that crime is hell. Well, the scripture tells us that every liar has their part in the lake of fire, Revelation 21, 8. And no thief or adulterer will inherit the kingdom of God. And those are the three verses, the three laws that we broke. There's seven more we haven't even looked at, right? So if that's true, you and I are in trouble because oh, I've yeah. lied, I've stolen, I've looked with lust. There's hell to pay. Scripture tells us that every liar will have their part in the lake of fire. If that's true, uh -huh. I'm in trouble. And so are you, right? Yes, yes. Does it concern you at all that if that's true and if God finds you guilty, 
that you'd end up in hell. Is there, is there any concern in your life of, if that's true? Honestly, no. Why is that? Because I don't think I'm a bad person. Despite what I've stated earlier. Well, it's, it's, it's his standard. I, his standard, but his standard was also based on my previous history. Yeah. You just, you gave me a generic question as far as have I ever stolen. Yeah. Yes. The answer is yes. And the, and the scripture says that no thief will inherit the kingdom of heaven. No thief will inherit the kingdom of heaven, and every liar will have their part in the lake of I've, fire. I've repented since then, and I've done certain things. But there's still pay, yeah. consequence. Not in the God I believe. The God I believe in would allow me into heaven for what I've done since I've done those poor acts. Now, does that concern you at all? That if you were to stand before God, and he judges you based on his standard of t the Ten Commandments, that you'd be guilty and end up in hell? Does that concern you at all? Yeah. It should. And listen, Dre. Believe it or not, that's why we're out here, because that concerns us too. You see, here's the million dollar question. What did God do for people who are guilty, sinners? What did he do so that they wouldn't have to go to hell? Do you know? What did God do? What did God do so that you and I wouldn't have to go to hell? Because he doesn't want you to go there but, you, but he has to send you there because he's good. But what did he do so that you can avoid going to hell? Dad, I don't know.